Hello and welcome to this tips and techniques video from Master Your Photography. In this series we've carefully crafted a collection of short videos designed to provide you with key points on specific topics without any of the unnecessary waffle. Our goal is to give you practical information that you can immediately apply to your own photography. We understand that your time is precious so we've condensed each video to deliver concise actionable information. With our tips and techniques series, you'll gain the knowledge and the confidence to improve your photography in no time at all. So that's probably enough waffle, let's get started. This video is all about mastering the habit. And that's the habit of actually taking photographs regularly in your daily life. You see, the more photographs you take, the better your photography will be. And the question we get asked all the time is, well, what's the best camera? And the answer has always been the same to this question. The best camera for you to use is the one that you've actually got with you at the time. It doesn't matter whether it's a smartphone or an all singing, all dancing DSLR or mirrorless camera. Whichever you have with you, that's the one to use. The important thing is you should carry a camera at all times if you want to improve your photography. Now all the following photographs were taken using an iPhone. Why were they taken using an iPhone? Because, you know, we do have much better cameras in our business. Well, the reason they were taken using an iPhone is because that's the camera that I happen to have with me at the time. And regular practice using any kind of camera is going to improve both your technical skills, but more importantly, it will improve your artistic vision because as you practice, then using the camera actually becomes second nature. So you don't worry about the technical aspects of setting your shutter speed and your aperture and worrying about color balance because you're doing that almost subconsciously. And that leaves your brain space to concentrate on things such as the composition and look for the light and what it's doing to your subject. If you suddenly find yourself in the path of an urban fox as Kate did here, then the last thing you want to be doing is messing about with the technicalities of a camera and you just use the first one that comes to hand which in this case happened to be Kate's iPhone. Once you've turned the operation of your camera into a habit then you'll be able to spot fleeting glimpses of sunlight as they land on your subject and you'll be able to grab those moments very very quickly. Another very popular excuse for not taking photographs is when the weather is bad. But what you can actually do is flip this on its head and turn the bad weather into an advantage so you can look for things such as reflections in pavements and get down low and use unusual angles and leading lines. Photography is like any other craft in that if you consistently practice then you will become more familiar with your camera settings and you will become better at composition. And if you incorporate photography into your daily life then it will become a lifestyle rather than just a hobby. One of the great ways to do this is actually by setting yourself projects. Pick a scene that's local to you and photograph it throughout the seasons or throughout different weather conditions. Or just commit to taking a photograph every single day. And what you will find is that practice, practice, practice will improve your photography in leaps and bounds. Thank you for tuning in to Master Your Photography's Tips and Techniques series. We hope you found this video useful and practical. Remember, each photo you take is a stepping stone towards becoming a better photographer. So, get out there and capture the world in your own unique way. Until next time, happy shooting.